I'm back with the remarkable Zev Ornstein, um, the uh, Director of International Affairs at the City of David Foundation. You can follow him on Twitter at Zev, Z-E-E-V-O-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. We're talking about archaeology, the Bible. We're talking about Israel. Zev, you were making, I think, a point of capital importance, which is that at a time when America and the West appear to be pulling away from Christianity, from Judaism and Christianity. And um, and it, not that this is something totally new, but I think what is new is the degree of hostility to the Judeo-Christian tradition. It's naked, it's open, it's vicious. And, um, and at this very time, it almost appears mysteriously that God is speaking back through the stones. And I say that because... These discoveries are occurring now. Now, in some cases, when we speak now, archaeologically, we mean in the last 50 years. But there are things that that you guys have dug up, like in the last five or the last two years. Talk about one of those most astounding um, uh, archaeological digs, and that is the one you're focused on now, the, the Pilgrimage Road and the Pool of Siloam. That's right. What is the Pilgrimage Road and what is the Pool of Siloam? By the way, I'm going to show a picture here. This is a photo. What is this, Sev? Is this a... Um... What you can see there is on a very rainy day, uh, part of the pool filled up with water. Yeah. Uh, you know, day to day, you don't have that much water in the pool. But the amazing thing is 2004, the southern end of the city of David, there's a road. Beneath the road, there's a sewage pipe. And the sewage pipe bursts. The municipality of Jerusalem has to send in construction crews to repair the sewage pipe. But Jerusalem is not just another municipality. The city of David, the place where Jerusalem began, is not just another part of Jerusalem. And here you don't only send in construction crews, you also send in archaeologists. The archaeologists are supervising, the bulldozers and dump trucks are doing their work. And the archaeologists here scraping and scratching, it doesn't sound right. They clear everyone out. Turns out, in repairing the sewage pipe, they find a series of ancient stone steps, 2,000 years old, which we said is the time of Jesus. And the archaeologists say there's only one other set of steps that look just like those steps, the southern steps leading up to the Temple Mount from 2,000 years ago. So they said, all right, well, what are these steps that we found here in the southern end of the city of David? And they realized they had found the steps leading down to the ancient Pool of Siloam. Now, what is the Pool of Siloam? For Christians, the Christian scriptures speak about the site of the healing of the blind man at the Pool of Siloam in the city of David. Now, the Bible tells us three times during the year on Pentecost, Tabernacles, and, and uh, on Passover, all of Israel's going up. On, uh, on pilgrimage up to the temple. Now, before you can go up to the temple, you have to wash, cleanse, bathe, go to a ritual bath. The historian Josephus says you would have had nearly 3 million people 2,000 years ago going on pilgrimage up to the temple, say on Passover. So we know the pool is about an acre and a half in size, but up until about a month or so ago, right around when you visited, we only had those steps uh, of the pool until about a month ago, where now for the first time in 2,000 years, we will have the ability to excavate the entirety of the Pool of Siloam, 2,000 years old, dating back to the time of Jesus, the size of two Olympic-sized swimming pools. We are going to excavate the entirety of the pool. Now, the archaeologists said, if we know what, what the Pool of Siloam is, and we know where the temple stood on the Temple Mount, a half mile apart, how did the millions of pilgrims get from the pool all the way up to the Temple Mount? They widen the excavation, and they discover the pilgrimage road. The road that our ancestors, whether you're Jewish or Christian 2,000 years ago, the road that they walked on when they went on pilgrimage up to the temple. Not a road like that, not stones that look like those. This actual road, these actual stones from 2,000 years ago. We find there, which, which, which we saw together, an ancient soapbox where you would have done the uh, Dinesh D'Souza show 2,000 years ago. Uh, you would have gotten up there. We didn't have all the podcasting technology and you would have just spoken. Uh, that was the, the, the town hall. Uh, I've been asked by, by many uh, congressmen and senators and, and uh, officials, what are the, what's the likelihood Jesus walked on this road? They say, look, I don't want to tell you stories. Let me give you a conservative estimate. The likelihood that he walked on this road, the pilgrimage road, in the city of David is 100%. So how do you know? Well, if you believe there was a historic Jesus 2,000 years ago, he was Jewish. He went with all the Jews down to the Pool of Siloam to cleanse. He would have walked up through the city of David along the pilgrimage road up to the temple on the Temple Mount. The Pool of Siloam in the city of David is 100% the same Pool of Siloam from 2,000 years ago. The pilgrimage road is the same pilgrimage road from 2,000 years ago. The Temple Mount is the same Temple Mount from 2,000 years ago. Not simply a matter of faith, but a matter of fact. And as we speak, you have archaeologists with the Israel Antiquities Authority that are unearthing both the pool and the pilgrimage road. And in a few years from now, you will be able to literally walk in the footsteps of the Bible, to literally begin the journey from the Pool of Siloam, walk all the way up the half-mile journey, coming out of the footsteps of the Western Wall, 
right next to the Temple Mount. Uh, this is Jerusalem's heritage being literally brought back to life. I mean, Zeb, what's in, you know, in Israel, there are some sites that are disputed, mm -hmm. right? People say, well, is this the Via Dolorosa? And uh, there are even two rival sites for where the crucifixion mm -hmm. may have taken place. It could have been here. It could have been there. Um, but what's interesting about the, pil about the pilgrim pilgrimage road and about the Pool of Salom is there's no dispute. That's right. That was the pool. That this is the road. And so this gives you the confidence to be able to say that this is where the Jews made their way. And, and the scene to me is very captivating, right? Because you could just see throngs of people, people selling stuff on both sides of the road. You mentioned a little, you know, almost little podiums. Mm -hmm. And presumably when, you know, Jesus is 12 years old, he gets lost. His parents are looking for him. I think you told us or someone told us this is probably where Joseph stood and, well, he was yelling, and anyone seen my son? You know, in other words, this Talk about bringing scenes in both the Hebrew and the Christian scriptures back into to life in a way that I think is completely different from reading them or even listening to them. Um, really amazing stuff. Let's take a pause. We'll be right back. 